The Port of Los Angeles, along with its twin port of Long Beach, is Southern California's biggest air polluter. The 16 foreign ships that come into the port every day release as much exhaust as one million cars. In addition, 34,000 diesel fuel burning trucks arrive daily to unload the international cargo. John Miller, a prominent local ER doctor, calls the area surrounding the port the diesel death zone. A lot of this is due to fine particle air pollution. These fine particles, uh, less than a micron in size, are almost all diesel exhaust particles. Diesel exhaust is making people die. It happens every day. If we can succeed in diminishing this level of uh, air pollution, I will have done more by doing that to save people's lives than anything I ever did in the emergency room. It would be the most important thing I ever did as a doctor. It came to me that you know, I'd raised my children here and my children had been exposed to this. So as I thought about you know, living here for 30 years and these kids growing up in this, I thought to myself, my God, we should have got out of here a long time ago. In early 2001, the local residents found out about a new terminal the Port of Los Angeles planned on building just 500 feet away from local homes and leasing to China Shipping Holding Company. As proposed, the China Shipping Terminal would cover five football fields, bring an additional 260 ships and one million trucks a year to Wilmington and San Pedro. The residents asked the city not to approve construction until the port conducted a complete environmental impact review. We, we realized that we had to take a stand now. It was a now or never situation. The Port Ettery announced they were going to triple in size in the next 15 to 20 years. And that impact on us was going to be tremendous. And then we began to attend the Harbor Commission meetings where your, the public is given three minutes to speak. They said, sorry, we're on a tight schedule. We got to go ahead until some wise person in the community got this idea to reach out to the Natural Resources Defense Council. And after the NRDC decided to take the case, uh, then we had legal representation. That changes everything. NRDC lawyers Gail Rudeman Fuhr and Julie Masters first met local residents in early 2001. Despite the fact that no one had ever stopped a port expansion project through the courts, in June of 2001, along with the Coalition for Clean Air, the NRDC went up against the port's heavy-hitting legal team. Our legal challenge was difficult. And so we knew that this would be a long battle, that if we lost in the trial court, which is what happened, that we would have to take it up to the Court of Appeals and we could be embroiled in a battle you know, against a dozen attorneys uh, for several years. We were also taking on the port and the city of Los Angeles and um, all of the resources that go with that and the fact that it really is an economic driver for, um, for Los Angeles. After nearly two years of legal battles, the court unanimously found the port and the city guilty of failing to assess the pollution, traffic, and other harmful effects of the China shipping terminal before approving its construction. Victory was very sweet in this case. It was just an amazing day. It's, it, you had to kind of pinch yourself. We received the order from the court, and the order from the court was very clear. It said they need to stop all work on the project. Now, with this victory, we know that we can cause change, and we can make a better quality of life for our future generations. The NRDC victory over the port was historic, requiring the port to spend $50 million over the next four years on the reduction of air pollution and industrial blight in San Pedro and Wilmington, and in addition, to implement measures that will make China shipping a green terminal. For example, they have set up the infrastructure at uh, the China shipping terminal where all of the diesel ships can plug into electric power and turn off their engines. This was round one. This case should be a wake-up call to other ports around the country. We are definitely taking our show on the road. <laughs>